What's up guys and welcome to the video. My name is Mitch and I'm part of the content creation team here at Clean Canvas and today I'm going to go through how you can set up a sub collection or another way of saying it a collection inside a collection in your Shopify store. In this video I'm going to cover it from two perspectives. The perspective of someone that's using one of our themes or a third party theme that has this kind of built into it out of the box. But then also in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can add this feature, say if you're using one of Shopify's free themes, or you might be using a theme that doesn't have it built in, and you might be able to reach out to that developer that created the theme who may be able to pass on the template to you so you can add it in, and then that part of the video will also apply to you. One thing I'll mention right off the bat, guys, is if you're using one of our themes for the purpose of this tutorial, and when you go into the pages section and you're not seeing the template for collection-list, appear it might be a case that you're using an older version of our theme and you might want to download the updated version at any time in the theme store you don't have to purchase the theme again you just go over to shopify theme section search the theme that you're using that you purchased and you should see the option just to download the latest version and then if you download it you should be able to see the collection list template appear there so just so i mentioned that straight off the bat all right guys so today i'm going to use our demo store and it's going to be symmetry today and basically what I want to happen is, if I, let's say, click on subscribe on YouTube over here, I want that instead to go to the collection page that's gonna display a select amount of collections because currently there's not really a simple way built into Shopify to do that. So this is kind of a hack to get around it. It works. I'll go through step by step and hopefully by the end, you'll understand how it works and then for future, creating future sub collections will have no problem or you can refer back to this video as well if you ever need to. So first things first, we're going to go and start off over in the pages section. We're going to click add page and here is very important if you click over on page and if you do not see this page.list-collections, you're going to want to maybe skip to the end of the video where I'm going to explain how you can add that into your theme. If you have it, then perfect, stick around. We're gonna continue on from here. So I'm gonna select this template. Now I'm gonna give this a, a name and I'm gonna call it symmetry. All right, so I'm gonna copy this because it's gonna be important later on to have this. So I'm gonna click save. Now what we've done is we've created the page that when it's clicked, this is gonna be the page that displays. Now we're gonna go and add the collections to that page. So this is the way it works. We're going to head over to navigation and here's where it gets a little bit funky, but I promise you it'll make sense. So you're going to click add a menu for the title. I want to use the same title of the page I created because that's going to basically link the two. And here is where I'm going to add the collections. So if I click add menu item, I select collections and I pick one of the collections and I click add. That's going to be on the page when we go to it. Now I'm going to add a few more. So just bear with me for a second. I'm going to add them. Okay, I've added five collections. I have them in order of alphabetically, but if you want to have them set in a different way, you can just set it from here. So let's say I want the camera collection to appear first. I'll grab it here and pull it up. And let's say I want hiking boots to be underneath that. I'll just grab it and pull it up. And this is where you'll always control how you want those collections to be displayed. So now I've got those done. I'm going to click save menu. Perfect. Now I want to create a path. And what do I mean by that is I want basically somewhere on my website when I click, I want this page to display these collections. So I'm going to go over to my theme section. I'm going to click customize theme. Perfect. So I said I want it to be here when I click on subscribe on YouTube. So I'm gonna head over to the video section. And currently this is the video link that's playing. So I'm gonna go down a little bit and here we go. Here's the button link. I'm gonna remove that link that I have. I'm gonna select pages and here I can have, I can see my symmetry collection page. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click save. Now that that's saved, I'm gonna go over to the main website and refresh and see how it looks. Now, if I click subscribe on YouTube, I get brought over to the collections that I can click on and then see products inside them. So that's basically how you kind of create a collection inside a collection. So we created the page, which is technically the collection. We call it symmetry collection. And now we have five collections inside symmetry. 
And now if I click on one of them, it's going to bring me over to the product page where all of them can be displayed. And if I want, I can have that link anywhere on my website. I can even have that link where it's symmetry collection. I can have it underneath here and a link always to this collection page. So I'll just go back to it here. Now, another thing I want to show you is in the customized theme area, if I uh, click on subscribe on YouTube in here, it's going to bring me over to the collection page. But in our themes, we have a, a feature where you can kind of play a little bit around with this. Um, if you click here on collection lists, you're going to see an option to uh, change the amount of products in a row. So currently it's set to five, but if I wanted, I could have it set to three. Um, and I can also have it show the product count. And then in theme set settings here, you can con you can control the width of the page on symmetry and image shape here as well. Now, these are things that apply to symmetry. They might not be there on your theme that you're using, or you might have more, or you might have less. It all depends on what theme you're using. So if you're wondering why you don't see them, it's because maybe the different theme you're using doesn't have them. So with that said, guys, um, that is how you can set up a collection inside a collection with one of our themes or a third party theme that has that template built into it. Now I'm going to go over and show you how you can add in that template if your theme doesn't have it um, or you're using one of Shopify's free themes that doesn't have it built in. But I'm going to show you how to set up pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to jump over and do that part. All right, guys, this is the part of the video where I'm going to show you how you can add the collection list template into your theme if you do not have it there already. There. I'm going to use one of Shopify's themes and I'm going to use Brooklyn. So I have it installed here. I'm just going to publish it. So the thing about your theme when it's published, um, the only templates are going to show up on your pages are going to be whatever applied to that theme. So what do I mean by that? If I head over to pages where this is where we're going to start off our adventure, um, I'm going to click add page and underneath template here, we do not see the collection dash list option here because it's not built into the theme. I'm going to still create a page for now. I'm going to call it symmetry collection. Uh, I'll click save. And this is where we have to go inside the theme code. And we need to create the template in there and then we're going to paste in the code what we need so don't worry it's going to be nice and simple so i'm going to head over to themes inside brooklyn here i'm going to click on edit code once the page is loaded you're going to click on add a new template i'm going to change that to page and we're going to change this to list oh list dash collections and then we're going to click create template. Now, when you create the template, it's going to have this code inside it. We don't want this code because it's not going to work. There's a link down below over to this uh, Shopify page. If you scroll, I think down around the middle, they have it listed out here what theme they're using. So for me, I'm using Brooklyn. So if I click on Brooklyn here, I'm going to see the code that I'm going to need to paste in. So I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to remove all of this code and I'm going to paste in this code that I just copied. I'm going to click save. Now, like I mentioned, if you're not using a Shopify free theme and you want this feature, you might want to reach out to your um, theme developer and ask them if they have a template for uh, creating collection lists. And if they do, just ask them to send you, send you over this code and then you just paste that code in here and then from from here on out, will everything will still apply to you. But um, for Shopify, this is how it works, where you go over to this page, you select the theme that you're using from Shopify, you can click copy there, and then you just go over here into the template we created, delete what's in there, and then paste that in. And then that will now, if we go over to pages after doing that, and I click on symmetry collection, if I go over to my template, I can now see list-collections is now there. Perfect. I'm gonna set it to that, and the next thing I'm gonna do now is head over to navigation, and I'm gonna click add menu. I covered this in the first part of the video, but if you skipped ahead, I'm gonna cover it again. Here, I'm gonna to wanna to, uh, put in the name of the collection, I, uh, the page that we created. So we created symmetry collection. And make sure it matches because if it doesn't match then it's not going to link together so what's going to happen next so here i'm going to select the collections i want to be in this page so i click add menu i click collections and i select the collections i want 
So I'm going to add them very quickly. Alright, I've added my collections. Now this is the way they're going to display on the page. If I want to have them ordered, I can just grab it here and say if I want camera collection first, I'll just do that. Same here with hiking boots. If I want to have that up higher, I can set it there. And once that's done, I'm going to click save menu. Now we've created our uh, menu and we've created our page. Now it's time to put that page somewhere where people can click on it. So I'm going to head over to themes. I'm going to go into my customize area. Now let's say on the slideshow, I want to add a link on it. I go here to button link. I select the pages. I select the page I want it to appear. I need to add an image. Now if I click on this shop now, it's going to bring me over to the collection page we created. That seems to have worked. I can see I've got camera collection, axe collection, and here it automatically knows to adjust uh, to show these in a line so they're not out of place. So that is how you can create a collection, sorry, sub collection in one of Shopify's free themes by adding in that code template. Uh, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have the link to this page that you're gonna need to get the code from in the description below in the video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial was able to help you set up your collection inside a collection or sub collections as some people call it on your store. It's a really cool feature that I wasn't actually aware you could do until recently when I was asked by a merchant. So I appreciate that merchant asking me if it's possible. So I did some digging and it appears that it is, but it's kind of a hidden feature and a little bit of a hack since it's not something that's directly built into the Shopify platform. And I really feel like it's something that people, if they knew that they had the ability to do it, could elevate their store a little Little bit more um, with some cool ideas so like I said I hope this was able to help if you liked the video consider giving it a like and subscribing because I'm going to try and put out more content like this around basically around our themes and also around themes in general that because there are some things that are hidden away in these Shopify themes I feel not a lot of people are aware of like this one for example so thanks for watching guys uh, and have yourself a great day